So I guess I just do that and then that. Make sure this is back in my hand. Alright, so as you can see it basically sets itself down and starts digging into the ground which will give me iron ore over time. So I can pick up all the iron and let's see on the left side as you can see it tells me what to do. So uh, it says complete hub upgrade too. Okay, I was reading the hints, so yeah. And I actually did all of the hints, so. Okay, this is gonna unlock a lot of stuff for us. And the ability to mine copper. <coughs> so I need more iron rods and I need 10 plates. So I'll get the 10 plates and then I need 20 iron rods. <clears throat> okay, six, seven, eight. Oh wait, it actually creates two at a time, which is interesting. I think it also uses, yeah, it uses three iron per two plates. So, looks like I do have enough iron. So let's just make the rest of the rods. There's 20. Now we'll do this. And upgrade. And as you can see, the hub got a little bit better. There's now an empty room here. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature biomass burner. Scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Seventh objective, complete hub upgrade three. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Okay, so yeah, it looks like this uh, miner can only store 100 iron ore at a time, which is interesting. Now I need to search for copper. So if I hold V, I can look at the things I can scan for. And there's some copper not too far from here. That's the one I found on the way, I believe. So there is a smelter that I can build but I cannot build any kind of advanced miner. Um, so I'm going to have to stick with the portable miner, which means I need to build another one, which means I need some more materials. And it's also telling me to automate the smelting process, which is what I'm going to do uh, after I start collecting some copper, I guess. All right, I don't know exactly what I need for the portable miner, but I'm guessing that's going to be good enough. Yes. Okay. Now let's go to... It was in this direction. Is it right up here on this hill? Oh yeah, it's actually right here, really close, which is great. I think it was pretty lucky to get the iron and the copper spawning right next to each other like that. Alright, so now if I drop this portable miner, this is also pure. So <clears throat> I don't know exactly how it works, but I think you can get things that are less than pure and it might take longer to mine those or something like that. Or you might not get as much from it as quickly or something, I don't know. Alright, so I got some copper. And I need to build a smelter, which I don't know... Okay, it is in here. And I need wire. So, if I craft some copper... And wire is pretty easy to make. It makes a bunch of it from a little bit of copper. Let me do this. Alright, 
Now can I make it? Yeah, it costs 10 iron rods and 8 wire. So, I have to think about where I want to do this. Um, I'm guessing that I'll want to do it right around here. And then the iron ore, I will just grab that from here with a conveyor belt once I get that far and just put it straight into here and let's do this uh, I don't think I unlocked conveyor belts yet no so yeah we'll just move that to here and then when it comes out the other side it will um, it will go into some machine that will make something else and power, I can use this to connect to here. Uh, I can't afford it because I need cable, which is just two wire. And there, if you look at the bottom, there's actually a hotkey to create the power lines, which is two, the number two. So I'll do that. And as you can see, it's automatically smelting the ore, so I don't have to go back to the hub and click the button for it to, uh, or hold the button in for it to smelt the ore. Now the downside is, right now I have to manually um, pick up the ore and take it there. But once, I think probably the next hub upgrade will fix that. Just emptying this copper so that I can uh, I can keep getting more. All right. So what do we need for the hub upgrade? We need 20 wire, 20. Okay, 20 of everything, pretty much. Let me go fill this smelter up with more iron ore and grab what it has. And I don't have to to rely on the smelters. I could still um, spend the time to sit here and make the iron ore if I need to. It's no big deal, but I'm going to focus on creating what I need to first. And actually, I need to do the copper manually because I only built one smelter and it's only smelting iron. Alright, so I needed 20 wire, which you can always use more wire, so we'll just make some of those and make a couple cables because I'm going to need those pretty soon too. Alright, now I think I need a little more iron to make more iron rods, and we can do this. Yep. All right, <clears throat> and that hub upgrade is complete, and the hub gets a little bit better. <clears throat> Congratulations. There's a bed here. You have unlocked scanner feature, limestone. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Eighth objective, complete hub upgrade four. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Okay, so it looks like I did not upgrade, or I did not get the conveyor belts. Looks like I get that next upgrade. <clears throat> but I did get concrete and limestone. So I believe limestone, you can create concrete, and then concrete, you can actually build like floors and stuff like that. Constructor. Okay, so this is. Yeah, you put the conveyor belt into it and it will automatically create parts. Um, so what I should do next, maybe I could search for limestone. It's like there's some pretty close all around. There's actually some right over here somewhere. Oh, right here. 
Wow. I think it was pretty lucky to get that spawning here too. So let me dig up some of this. I think this should break soon. Hmm. I assumed that this would break, kind of. Oh, there we go. Like the other stuff. And that was pure, but this is just normal. Which is still fine, I think. Alright, I don't think I can really do anything with that just yet. Looks like the concrete... Uh, where was that? The concrete is used to make something that I saw in here. Oh, uh, the power poles. So yeah, this is like... I would put this down and then I can connect all of the separate machines to this. Alright, let's make a little bit of this concrete since I collected it and I might want to put down one of those power poles just so I can have it. And let me actually collect the copper from this miner. Alright, this big guy might get in the way eventually. I don't know, they're probably pretty difficult to kill them and I don't I don't want to kill it, but it looks like it's about to get in the way. Because I'm going to start building all around here. And let's see... What is this? Reinforced iron plate. Okay, so what I think I might do is make another smelter. So I need more iron rods for that. And yeah, basically, do I need more wires for that too? Not enough space in inventory. I guess I'll put these fix-it presents away. Can be obtained and produce. Oh wait, maybe I can open them. Uh, let me actually. So one thing I don't think I mentioned is there's this generator here which is powering my smelter and you basically have to put leaves in it or you might be able to put other things later on but I'm just putting leaves in for now. Alright, let's put some of this stuff. Actually, let's take some of this copper. So yeah, is there a way for me to open these? Hmm doesn't look like it right now. I don't know. I don't know how this game works, to be honest. Alright, let's make some more wires so I can make a smelter. Now the thing is, I have to connect it to the power. So I'll keep that in mind. I'll build it around here. That way it's close to this copper, and I can just go grab the copper, put it in here, and then once it's done it will pull it out. Uh, let me... can I do this? No. I can't connect more lines to that, which means I need to create one of those power poles, and I think I needed... I don't remember exactly what I needed. I think I needed screws, maybe? No, maybe not. Um, I'm just gonna create a few things just while I'm here. Might as well. Okay, so I need power pole, which I have enough materials to create. So let me do this like right kind of in front of, oops right in front of the generator. And we can deconstruct this. Now add the power line to there, add the power line to there. Oh look, this is like a Christmas wreath that they have here. Do that. And now all of these should be powered. 
and eventually I'm going to have an issue where I'll need more power. Oh look, can I climb this ladder? Hmm. I didn't even realize that. So yeah, I can kind of... It's nice, it's nice in this game to have like these tall things where you can climb up on and look around so you can see um, what you're working with and what you can do in the future. So yeah, uh, let's look at the next hub upgrade and see what I need. I need 20 cables and 75 iron plates, which is a lot. So let me try and uh, let me grab the iron out of here and put the iron in there. Oh, I actually can't because it was filled up. Okay, that's fine. I have plenty of iron, but I need to make it all into iron plates. And it looks like my inventory is full again. 